If we talk about Disney, we always remember Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, even Goofy, many other characters. And if you ask me, buddy, who is your favorite Disney character? Well, definitely Joe Carioca. What? You never heard about Joe? José Carioca? You stay in this video and I'm gonna explain you everything. Hey buddies, my name is Brazilian Buddy, or Andre, my normal name, and I'm here on YouTube to share you everything related to Brazil. And today I was really, really excited to show you and share to you about Zé Carioca, or in English, Joe Carioca. And first of all, to explain to you how Brazil received this character from Walt Disney, we need to understand the context by that time. So buddies, the year was 1941. Well, in the middle of the World War II, and to contain the advance of the communism and the fascism, USA started a process of relationship to the countries of the Latin America to move them to the side of the Allies. And how to win the sympathy of the other countries? Through culture. So that's why Walt Disney got this, you know, this mission and started to be the representation of the American government to the other countries. So. He brought artists and screenwriters and started to went to Mexico, Argentina, Chile, and of course, Brazil. Ah, and not just Brazil received the characters. We have uh, Gauchinho Voador in Argentina, or we have Pachinto, I don't know how to pronounce, but in my mind, it's Pachinto from Mexico. In the same year, 1941, Walt Disney arrives in Rio de Janeiro, of course, always Rio de Janeiro, and he enjoyed the Sugarloaf Mountain, he went to parties and then samba, he got to the beach, he did a lot of activities here. I'm gonna put a lot of photos. So he enjoyed a lot and he was in the most expensive hotels here in Brazil called Copacabana Palace in front of Copacabana Beach. And just to know, buddy, it's approximately $422 a day one day that's a lot during a dinner in copacabana palace the walt disney group received a lot of guests and in the middle of these guys it was a guy called j carlos a brazilian artist at the dinner j carlos gave a drawing to walt disney of a parrot hugging donald duck and it was exactly what walt disney was looking for to represent brazil he liked so much that he invited J. Carlos to be in future projects in USA, but unfortunately, he refused. And what about Zé Carioca? Well, his full name actually is José Carioca. José Carioca. José, Zé, it's a slang for José. It's not José as in Spanish, we are saying in Portuguese. Não, senhor. José Carioca, Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. And Carioca, if you were born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, so you are Carioca. So, yeah, he's from Rio and he is a parrot. Well, uh, there is no animal that represents Brazil than a parrot. If you didn't know, Brazil was called once as the land of parrots. I'm going to put the link about the, the name, the region of Brazil and he has the colors of Brazil, green and yellow, and he was inspired in two different guys. The first inspiration was Zezinho, Zezinho. He was a Brazilian musician, really famous by that time, and friend of Carmi Miranda. Carmi Miranda, one of the most famous Brazilian singers of all time, of samba and other Brazilian genres. And it's funny because Zezinho later became the regional voice he was the dubber of Zé Carioca. And the second uh, inspiration was Dr. Jacarandá. He was um, a lawyer from Rio de Janeiro. And it's funny because he didn't have any law degrees. So he always win the cases by talking, you know. Like, you know, the, the, that way, you know, different way to, to, to see the cases. And if you look the, you know, the clothing was exactly the same from Zé Carioca. So we have Zezinho, Zé Carioca, so close names, and the clothing of Dr. Jacarandá reminds a lot of the character. 
about Zé Carioca characteristics, uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, he's a womanizer, okay? See you in a mini. I will make for you the most romantic Brazilian feast. It will be sumptuous. He likes to smoke. Uh, he dances samba and drink cachaça. If you didn't know what it is cachaça, I'm gonna put the link uh, about the Brazilian beverages and alcoholic drinks. And uh, he has a characteristic. Uh, it's a kind of a rascal. So. Uh, we use the word malandro, it's not exactly the same of rascal, but sometimes I see that he looks like a gangster. Donald, como vai você? Como vai essa força? Por onde tem andado? Há quanto tempo que eu não vejo? Que é de novo? Or, as you Americans say, what's cooking? The first appearance of Zé Carioca in movies was in 1942, uh, one year later of his creation in the movie called Saludos Amigos. Uh, in, in this movie, he was introducing Brazil to Donald Duck. It's really nice because he was speaking Portuguese also. Donald, I will show you the land of the samba. samba. And two years later, he appeared in another movie called The Three Caballeros. The Three Caballeros with the character from Mexico and Donald Duck again. He appeared in Melody Times in 1948. And later in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, yeah, really famous, in 1988. And of course, in other productions of Disney as well. His first appearance in comic books was in Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 27 called <laughs> The King of Samba. And in Brazil, he had many other stories among 1961 and 2018. Uh, it was obvious that the character was embraced by the Brazilians. Of course, during the years he received a lot of updates, he is wearing jeans now, uh, but the, the feeling, the character is exactly the same, so that's why we love Zé Carioca. And yeah guys, that's it, it was a funny and interesting story to share to you, I hope you liked this video, it was really fun to do it. If you like Brazil, if you want to see more things, culture, Joe Carioca, Joe Carioca no, Zé Carioca, and well, traveling, let me know, comment below, uh, and of course, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, muito obrigado, and I see you on the next episode, video, yeah, see ya, tchau!